People joining the game industry often ask how far Unity will go and can go, and what its future will look like. In this video, I will briefly discuss what Unity's future might look like, coming right up. Hey what's up guys, it is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to another video guys and today I decided that I would make this video where I talk about Unity's future and kind of my predictions about what can actually happen for Unity in the days to come. And guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button down below because it really does support me a lot. And also subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new cool videos coming up like this one. And also let me know in the comments down below if you have any predictions about Unity's future. Do you think that it's gonna keep on being the most popular engine? Or maybe Unreal Engine is going to take its place? Let us know in the comments down below and let's get started with this video. So obviously I just want to start off by breaking this topic down into smaller points. And I want to begin with something that is called for simplicity of the engine. So basically I just want to kind of talk about Unity's simplicity and the fact that it is the most simple engine to use out there, which in terms of complex engines that are used for game development, including 3D. And the simplicity of Unity is actually a huge part of why it's one of the most popular engines, actually the most popular engine out there right now. And even though they are still updating Unity and improving by each update and adding new features and all that, they are still keeping the simplicity of the engine and the core features and functionalities that Unity is capable of doing which is really cool to see because that really means that unity is going to keep on being improved but also the fact that it's going to keep its simplicity and going to be keep being unity that it is today and one more thing that really adds up to unity's simplicity is the fact that ut unity technologies team is always or actually just tends to keep these legacy systems going up in the new feature new versions of unity 2 such as the animation system that is now legacy but they still keep it just for just for the sake of people who want to use it which is really cool because that really adds up to the simplicity of the engine because obviously if you learn a system you probably don't really want to change it up just right there uh, when it gets added or like a new system gets added because you obviously have already learned the system and you know how to use it and then a completely new system gets in and if they overwrite the legacy system by just using the newer one it's gonna be annoying for you as a game developer. Also, a lot of people tend to talk about Unity's graphics, which I also do, so I can't really blame anybody. But people often ask the question, is Unity's graphics good enough for my game? Or should I, you know, start with a different engine? Or maybe should I never actually get into Unity because I'm scared of the graphics being bad? And Unity has been criticized under this topic so many times now, like for several years, pretty much like since the start, like the first version of Unity got released. A lot of people have been criticizing Unity for having bad graphics or having a poor taste in visual quality, not being, you know, a top contender when it comes to visual quality. And that's, you know, th those are some false allegations, but there are also some true allegations. Obviously, it's not a perfect engine, but just like all the other engines out in the market right now, it's still getting improved. But besides handling the whole situation really, really well, they are also improving the engine once again really, really good. And by that, I mean the fact that the new post-processing effects got added in the latest version of Unity, the latest patch. It's been incredible. I mean, the ambient occlusion, the anti-aliasing, the sun shafts, you know, everything has been improved. Actually, I take that back because sun shafts didn't get that much improved. But there are so many new features that are added, including a whole new bloom system, because that really looks slick. I mean, everything is really, really good, but I personally, I enjoyed the bloom the most because I'm a level designer and I really, really liked what I saw there. And I'm not saying this to like brag or show off what Unity is capable of doing. I'm just saying that Unity Technologies is a really, really well developed team who really knows what they are doing with the engine. So there are so many new features that are coming to the visual quality of Unity as well. Uh, not only the systematic features, you know, all these API systems for coding, the languages and whatnot, but also for the graphics themselves. Because Unity is the most popular engine out there right now, and that means that it's a, it's got a huge pressure on its shoulders. I, I don't know if you guys realize that, but it's a huge pressure. 
and it also means that it's one of the top contenders right now in the market so it always has to keep up with the new standards in the market in order to not actually fall down from its position and there's a lot of people who say well graphics aren't everything for games which is true because obviously if you play a game with incredible graphics but the storyline just sucks you obviously aren't going to be that motivated to play the game and you probably are going to want a refund but you also don't want to play a game who, which is supposed to look like a good graphics game like not a cartoon game or stylized game but then you get these horrible graphics and horrible performance obviously you're not going to be very happy as a customer so in order to deal with all these situations and all these problems that are actually potential problems Unity has to keep up a really, really good pace in terms of graphics. And they have been doing so really well, especially with the latest patch once again, because the new improvements to the post-processing stack effects are just incredible. And we all know how popular multiplayer games have become lately. Even single player games that aren't really supposed to publish like a multiplayer system, like a survival game that is actually supposed to be a solo game. Even they are getting so many requests by their customers and players that they should implement a multiplayer system no matter what. And multiplayer is not a new system to the game industry. I mean, it's been incredibly popular like for the past two decades or so. But I think we can all agree the fact that multiplayer has been growing even more for the past five years or so. And that also means that the most popular game engine out in the market right now available for everyone to download has to have a good multiplayer system. And Unity did a really, really good job by implementing Unity Multiplayer, which is its official name now. Um, it's basically a brand new multiplayer system for the engine itself, which can be used by every game developer in order to create a multiplayer game but it's really really simple compared to its previous versions that were actually available in Unity officially. So not only has Unity been improving in terms of graphics and API, it has also been improving in the multiplayer branch. And these factors, including multiplayer especially, really do add up to the fact that Unity is going to have a good future too. Because Unity has been proving and is proving day by day the fact that they are going to keep up with the standards in the business. One more thing that I want to talk about is the fact that Unity is so flexible. And what I mean by that is the fact that what, whatever you can find in Unity officially made by UT right now for the moment being, is going to be found 90% of the time in the asset store. And that might sound a little bit lame to some people because they're gonna be like, well, so Unity technologies can't create it by themselves, so I just have to purchase an asset that they like sponsor or something, which is wrong because the amount of assets that are published on the asset store of Unity really proves the point. And that point is the fact that Unity is so flexible that the customers themselves, the editors, the creators, the designers, programmers, whatnot, can create their own assets, their own editor extensions, their own designs for Unity and publish it on the asset store. And by programming inside of Unity, you can actually create and improve Unity's editor itself. And I'm not only talking about the inspector, you can literally create third party assets for Unity that are going to be supported inside of the engine. I mean, there is not that many engines out there that lets people do this kind of stuff. And that really adds up to the future of Unity because that means if something is missing in Unity in your eyes, you can simply create it by yourself or download something that is created by other people already. So you don't really have to like wait and watch for every single update by Unity. You can actually get it and grab it off of Asset Store or even internet in general, simply just downloading whatever has been created already. And one last thing that I wanna talk about before I actually end this video, guys, is the fact that there is a roadmap in Unity and um, it's officially released by Unity, so it's not like a leak or anything. And the roadmap is used for showing their customers and showing their game developers what is actually coming up in the future of Unity. So if you want to see the future patches, updates and uh, features that are actually coming to Unity, you can check it out. And um, there's going to be a link in the description below, which I've been really bad with uh, memorizing that I want to add a link in the description. But don't worry, this time I won't forget and I'm actually going to include that in my comment that I'm going to pin. So you can check that out if you don't find it, but it should be there. So you'll be finding it, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. 
Um, as if, if you didn't know, I was in Turkey for a while now, and I recently came back to Sweden. So actually, I was I came back here 16th was my first actual day. Like 15th was the day that I came back, but I kind of just left it off. So because it was late at night. So um, I've been here for a few days now and I've been uploading the videos that I had made before I actually went to Turkey. And um, so yeah, now that I'm back, I'm obviously going to keep making these videos. My level designs are co going to keep up coming and um, there are going to be more tutorials coming up on my channel. So you can always subscribe in order to stay up to tune and make sure that you don't miss any videos. And you can also click that little bell icon right down below. Uh, after you subscribe, it's going to pop up in the subscription box. So you can click that in order to get a notification whenever I upload a new video, comment or, you know, post something that is new to my uh, new content to my channel, basically. And also, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. And um, also, once again, subscribe if you want to stay up to tune. And let us know in the comments down below if you have any future predictions of Unity. Once again, I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think because I really do feel like a uh, like there is a connection between you guys and me and um, you each other basically because we always you know talk about different kind of things that are related to game development and we also discuss uh, things that are possible inside of the market itself. So I'm really interested in knowing what you guys think and what your two cents are on this topic. So let us know in the comments down below. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.